Maddie Paul, and I love whodunits. I love the misunderstood detectives, I love the mod podge of witnesses, and people being accused of murder, and theft, and robbery, and all the fun stuff. And my favorite mystery author is Agatha Christie. So I wanted to tell you a little bit about my top three recommends for Agatha Christie to kind of get you introduced to the queen of crime. The first book is an awesome sampler of one of my favorite detectives, Hercule Poirot, and it's called Poirot Investigates. It's um, a comp compilation of short stories. It shows him, um, you know, diving into murder, um, some jewel robberies, missing wills. So it's a really good taste if you kind of want to just like dip your toe into the land of Agatha Christie and get to know Poirot's kind of quirkiness. It's a great introduction to that. Now, if you're looking for something a little bit more international with a little bit more intrigue and multi-layered, lots of people involved, the big four is perfect. Um, it follows four criminal masterminds and Poirot has to travel around the world looking for these um, seemingly, at first, unrelated crimes, but then he slowly figures out that it's these four criminals working together in kind of like a organized, they're all kind of going after one goal, but all doing it in different ways. It also has my all-time favorite um, murder, and I won't spoil it, but it is a murder fitting for the queen herself. Now, if you're looking for something a little bit more laid back, kind of a slow burn, um, at Bertram's Hotel is my all-time favorite, Miss Marple. Um, she is another one of Agatha Christie's main detectives, and it follows Marple as she kind of reminisces on a childhood memory where she visits this hotel, and she goes back to it and kind of realizes that everything has been the same, and it kind of, kind of starts to bug her a little bit. So she kind of, as um, she's sitting there in the lobby and enjoying, um, you know, again reminiscing, she starts to notice a couple things and realizes that everything is the same for a very specific reason. So um, it's kind of a little bit of an um, offshoot for Agatha. There's a lot more description of the actual location and the surroundings and the environment rather than just being super focused on the suspects and the witnesses. So um, all of these are really great introductions to Agatha Christie, and I hope you and your little gray cells enjoy the adventure.